Welcome back. Today we're making a pizza using Trader Joe's cauliflower pizza crust. We have our pizza crust made out of cauliflower from Trader Joe's. We've got pizza sauce I get from Walmart. We have our spices. We have garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and crushed red pepper. We're going to mix that in with about a quarter cup of shredded or grated Parmesan cheese. We're going to give that a good mix. We're going to put this on our pizza crust. You know how to make pizza. I'm just showing you what I do. Everybody knows how to make pizza. We're going to throw on the sauce, throw on the cheese. I like a lot of cheese and we're going to put some more Italian seasoning on that I get from Kroger. This is what it looks like before it goes into the oven. And this is what it looks like after the oven. And now we're gonna do a taste test. You just watched me make two cauliflower pizzas. These are the Trader Joe cauliflower pizza crusts. You get two in a package. All right, so we got two different pizzas here. We got this one, which was baked on a, like a cookie sheet type baking rack. And this one, which was baked on like a pizza, like rack thing. Like a stone? No, we don't have a pizza stone. We have like the pizza, like the pizza pan. It's round, it's got holes in it. Oh, I hear that, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, know, yeah. I know what we need. So we're gonna try them. They're both cheese, mozzarella only. I did purchase some pizza cheese for this very event. But. The youngest boy who still resides in this home decided he was gonna eat 95% of it. And then someone else I know, I'm not gonna name any names, but I'm just gonna maybe just, you know, help you figure out who it was. I ate just the rest. A little. So just a little. we've just got some mozzarella here. That's fine, right? It'll and be. I was gonna pick up some pepperoni today while I was at the store, and I was like, I've got a huge bag of pepperoni at home. <sighs> but it was growing cheese. Ew. Moldy. Moldy. So let's go ahead and try this. Do you think they taste the same? Um, they're gonna. They're ex they're identical. Okay. Except they're just baked on different pans, so the crust might be a little different. It's a little soggy. It's a little floppy. Floppy, flop, flop, but flop, flop. I did not anticipate anything different. Right. You saw everything I put in there, so. The pizza part's good. Yeah. The crust is like, I mean, I can take it or leave it. Yeah. It's, it's not fabulous. To me, having these in the fridge makes pizza night or any kind of dinner easy because you can't go wrong with sauce, a little bit of spice, some cheese, throw in the oven, and cut it. Yeah. And this, I mean, I could take it or leave it, but it's already pre-made. You don't have to make it yourself. It's not the best flavor I've ever had, but it's also not even close to the worst thing I've had. It's not made out of mustard. So, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it I tastes would, better than this. Matter of fact, I'm gonna eat this. It tastes better than a Quest pizza. Mm -hmm. And do you know what this is? What what is? This is the very first pizza recipe we've ever had on the channel. Ooh. Isn't that weird, y'all? Yeah. Is, wait, you didn't do the, like, just the cheese in the pan pizzas? No. I haven't done those mm -hmm. yet. Like the upside down pizzas? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's slacking. Should have done this a long time ago. I figured that they've been done. You wouldn't want them. But I'll make one for you anyway. Just so he you doesn't just... know what you want. Tell him what you want down there. Yeah. I'm hungry. These are good though. I mean, okay. We tried, spoiler alert, we tried the sandwich thins, the Aldi, or the, not the Aldi, the Trader Joe's sandwich, sa the, the cauliflower sandwich thins. Mm. Those are delicious. The only downside to this is Trader Joe's is all the way across town. It's like in another world. If they would just put one over here on right? our side of town. Have you tried the cauliflower pizza crust from Trader Joe's? Let me know down in the comments. Yeah. I think we're trying to undersell it. For ease, mm -hmm. it's good. It's clean ingredients. You don't have to make it yourself. It has a lot of good. Yes. I mean. And the downside's really not the pizza crust's fault necessarily. I mean, the pizza crust is made of cauliflower. That's not its fault. Oh. And it's across town. We had to drive like 40 minutes to get there. Not the pizza crust's fault. No. If you found value in this video, let us know in the comments down below by talking about these pizzas. Other pizzas you'd like to see us try. Again, as this is the first one we've had on the channel. Yeah. If you like the 
recipe and review combined type of, of video, let us know. Yeah, I like this. Now that's a different new thing. It's a logistical nightmare for us, but right. the things we'll do for you. For you. If you like me filming when I'm exhausted. Don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends, share with anybody who's actually gonna watch the video all the way through. Turn it on and walk away. We're okay with it. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time. Good night. Good night, everybody.